My name is Ed Piscor, 26 years old. I'm a cartoonist, uh, born and raised in Homestead, Pennsylvania. It was a pretty turbulent time. Um, this is the mid 80s, early 90s. The, the mills were, have recently closed by this point. And um, gang culture was, started to become in vogue. It was a popular thing to do. And the Crips were the local gang on, in a, on the west side of Homestead. I obviously didn't fit in with that culture whatsoever, and I just kept to myself. I stayed indoors. There were gunshots every night. I was continuously uh, just a scared little kid, <coughs> um, but I would escape in comic books and decided that that is what I wanted to do uh, for a living, and have just I've worked on it, and I've been drawing comics steadily for uh, the past five years uh, doing different graphic novels and comic strips. Uh, one of the most well-known was um, uh, American Splendor, written by Harvey P. Carr, which was made into a movie uh, before I did the comic. And uh, right now I'm just having a good old time uh, self-publishing my own books. Ow! This is WYSIWYG Volume 1, Freak, uh, the first self-published comic that I produced. And it basically tells the story of a young computer hacker who, be before the computer existed uh, for home consumption, uh, the, the biggest, most intricate machine that a person could play with uh, was the telephone. From a very early age, this character, uh, Kevin, was able to uh, figure out how payphones worked, and he very quickly found ways to sort of uh, cheat the system and that carried on to uh, the computer age which volume two takes place this this book sort of encompasses the first uh, the early days of the home computer and it also deals largely with the infancy of the internet when it was opened up for commercial use each of these books has taken me almost a year a piece just because you know I'll get other work or um, some other paying jobs will come along and mm -hmm. I'll get those out of the way so I can get back to doing what I really want to do which is this WYSIWYG comic. Ow! There are a lot of cartoonists doing some really great stuff. Uh, Robert Crumb is huge to me um, and there are some other cartoonists like uh, this guy named Dan Klaus and Chris Ware, who are some of the best cartoonists working today, um, doing really intelligent, thoughtful uh, comics. <coughs> I really like a lot of old uh, comic book, uh, comic strip reprints that they've been producing reprints of now. So Dick Tracy, um, what else? Popeye, Terry and the Pirates, Little Orphan Annie. Uh, a lot of this old stuff is really, really interesting, and I get a lot of inspiration from those old strips. Try not to make my comics seem like movies on paper, if that makes sense. 